Hello and uh, welcome to the North Carolina School of Science and Math uh, Parent Guardian Information video for athletics. This video is to help you make you more familiar with the different things we have in athletics to walk you through eligibility, athletic training, and uh, different items to talk about our sports that we offer here at the School of Science and Math. Um, I'm Greg Jarvis, the Athletic Director. Uh, Dr. Joanne Barber is our Vice Chancellor for Student Life. She's, she's also in charge of athletics above me. And uh, Thomas Michelle is our athletic trainer. He's in charge of all of our athletic training and, uh, and the different things you need in sports medicine. And our coaching staff uh, is also available on uh, GoUnis.com. You can go there and get their contact information as well as my contact information, anybody else on the staff. We have 19 varsity sports. Uh, we offer men's and women's basketball, cross country, golf, soccer, swimming and diving, tennis, track and field. We also have baseball, cheerleading, softball, volleyball, and wrestling. We are a member of the Northern Carolina 2A Conference. Um, there's eight schools in this conference. They're all uh, northwest of here, actually northeast of here. Uh, Bunn, uh, Durham School of the Arts, Franklinton, um, uh, North, uh, South Granville, uh, Southern Vance, Roanoke Rapids, and Warren County. Uh, we do follow the rules of the High School Athletic Association as being a part of it. Um, there are a lot of things we want to stress within our athletic programs. Um, we want to compete with integrity, respect, and unity. Um, these are values that we want our coaches and our administrators and all of our students and student athletes to, uh, to uh, show every day when they're, when they're in practice and, and uh, within school and their personal life as well. Um, talking about integrity, that's our core. You're only as good as you are um, in, in the different actions you have. Uh, respect, that includes sportsmanship and how you treat your coaches and your parents and your officials. Um, uh, unity, that's uh, working as a team. Um, we all want to work as a team to get to that goal that we want to get to. Um, as a part of the High School Athletic Association, we are, we are uh, bound by the sportsmanship um, policy they have in, in, in place. Um, and and we, we fully back that here at the School of Science and Math. Um, you can find this uh, on the uh, Athletic Association website as well as GoUnis.com to get more information about it. But it, it helps cover our spectators, um, our parents, our student athletes, uh, things they should do on the court and also off the court with other teams. Uh, to be a part of varsity sports and to be eligible, you must have a current sports physical uh, on file that must be submitted to the clinic. You also must have a sickle cell uh, submitted to the clinic as well. Um, you must also have permission for inter interscholastic sports that is done on focus. You must also pick the sport that you want to have permission for. I would recommend uh, checking off as many of those as possible in focus just so you don't have to worry about it later. There's also a concussion statement that you must fill out. Um, and Coach Michelle will talk about that in a minute, but that must be turned in by the, uh, the student athlete when they show up on campus. And there's also a high school um, eligibility form that, that the juniors fill out that must be done as well, and that's also in focus. In addition to the paperwork and medical clearances, uh, students who represent the School of Science and Math um, must be academically and disciplinary eligible. Uh, to be academically eligible, um, any trimester grade of a D or U or any two grades below a C will place a student on academic probation. Disciplinary, um, level three violations may include banning of participation in inter interscholastic athletics or representing the school in any official manner. Um, any student on academic probation or disciplinary consequences um, will, could also possibly permit them from not playing on interscholastic competition for the School of Science and Math. Um, students can request a review of grade by their instructor and any review of their athletic eligibility uh, can be requested by the uh, Vice Chancellor for Student Life. Uh, more information on these requirements can be found on the uh, GoUnis.com website on the Physical Activity and Wellness Handbook that's listed there. And now we're going to move on to talk about athletic training. The athletic training room, uh, I actually staff the athletic training room. I'm a certified athletic trainer. I have undergraduate students from neighboring colleges from UNC and North Carolina Central also help there. There's also a physical therapist from uh, Duke that comes in two days a week to also help you know, with rehabs and things like that. Um, I work very closely with our clinic uh, here at the school, worry about the kids, make sure that we have all the kids' injuries taken care of, all their medical forms and everything in order. Uh, a lot of the rehabs that your children will do will be being done right here on campus. Uh, this way they try not to miss too much school, and this way I can have them, you know, here and, and get things done. Uh, in case there's a serious injury, uh, the athletic trainer will usually call the on-call physician, let them know what's going on, and relay the information to that physician. Then the physician with the athletic trainer will make a decision whether the child needs to go to the ER 
or whatever so that the situation could be taken. If they need to go to ER, they would be transferred by the student life instructor. I will be calling the parent personally, let them know what's going on, and, and this way you be right up in the loop. If the child's going to the ER, you will be able, and you will go and meet them in the ER. Um, I maintain an affiliation with Duke Sports Medicine. Uh, they are very good. Usually if there's an injury and I need to get the child in, I have them in the next day. This way I'll be seen by orthopedics, and this way they, we get done right away. Uh, concussions. Concussions is a very big thing today. If you notice in the paper, there's constantly things going on about concussions. Uh, as, Dr. as Greg Jarvis told you, you will be filling out a form. It will tell you all about concussions, all signs and symptoms. If your child sustains any suspected head injury, it doesn't have to be a concussion, it's suspected, the child will be removed from that competition and will not return to that competition until seen by a physician. We actually have the affiliation with Duke that has a licensed physician in concussions who I send the children to to make sure that they get taken care of. And again, I will not put your child back until I feel that your child is ready to go back there. Um, there is no reason to take any chance with a concussion whatsoever. We have the North Carolina law now that also stipulates this. So this is why it's so strict. It's a very good thing. I will tell you, I've been involved many years. I worked with uh, Dr. Kevin Guskowitz in UNC on some of the largest concussion studies ever. And like I said, when it comes to your child, it's better to be safe than sorry in this thing. I do not want any chance. So please do understand, if your child sustains head injury, they will be removed and will not be going back in until they are cleared. If there is a return to play plan, that will be done by myself. I will be the one working through them each step to make sure they can get back to return to play. And then, like I told you, we have a great working relationship with Duke Sports Medicine. I am very lucky. They've been very good to us. And they're always there, they're ready to tell us, okay, yes, no, what to do. You can follow NCSSM Athletics on our website at GoUnis.com, on Facebook and Twitter. Any questions you have, you feel free to contact Greg Jarvis, our athletic director. His email is on the slide below. Thank you very much.